I was just terrified that I had shut myself out of ever being able to raise capital again because I think I could have easily gotten a reputation of, oh, Polly's just really difficult. Unbound is a sexual wellness company. We make and sell vibrators, lubricants, and accessories, and our whole goal is to really destigmatize female sexuality. What was your experience like going into, I'm assuming, predominantly male investors yeah. and pitching them a sex tech company? It was awful. We were generating over $100,000 in monthly sales before people would even really take a meeting with me. I got over 200 no's. I got laughed out of meetings before. I've been asked if I'm going to demo the product for investors before. You are actually making money from the get-go, which is not something a lot of entrepreneurs can say. And you are being asked by an investor if you're gonna demo a, a sex product. So that's pretty crazy, right? Yeah, raising money, just it's hard. That's, that's not news to anybody. I think it's even harder when you're a first-time founder it's even harder when you're a female first-time founder and then you you know also couple that with trying to sell the vision of female sexuality and, and I think one of the most disheartening things was actually raising from female investors was even harder than raising from male investors because to them oftentimes what I was doing was just wildly inappropriate and I remember one time pitching an angel group and people wouldn't even look at me. And at the end, when usually there would be a Q&A, not one person asked a question. They just wanted me to like get out of the room as quickly as possible. You did raise money from Binary Capital. This is the venture capitalist firm that came under fire because of Justin Kalbeck, who was accused of sexual harassment on many accounts. And you did something incredibly unique. You gave back the investment. Binary Capital came in at the very last minute as we were closing the round for a very large allocation. But then Reed Albergati from the information called me two weeks before the story was gonna break. When I found out what had happened, it was just horrendous. I spent two years raising that money and now I have to give back half a million dollars. But you didn't have to give it back, but you did. We can't be a company that stands for female sexual health and wellness and have an, an, such a large investor involved in our company. And because he had always been professional with me, it was really important to take it upon myself to talk to some of these women. And after talking to them and hearing the stories, I gave back the $500,000 and as a result of that, the remaining partner at Binary wrote a really mean email saying any entrepreneur that would give back money had no integrity, was grandstanding, and would never be able to raise money again. How did you feel when you read it? I was just terrified that I had, you know, shut myself out of ever being able to raise capital again. The women who put themselves out on the line and who speak out, there are still whisper networks for the men in the back, and there are still ramifications I think people don't quite understand. It's just unfortunate and, un and really truly unfair because you're really you know, just trying to do the best thing for your company. Ultimately, you have to do what you believe to be right. And, and I also got really lucky in that um, there was a female partner and I had lots of investors who said, just keep the money, what do you care? Like, money is green. And she was the one who stepped up and said, if you give this money back, I will take their allocation. And she's like, you know, you shouldn't have to do business with someone who treats women that way, especially given what your company stands for. And so I think, in a lot of ways, we were really fortunate to have kind of like that happy ending where we were able to give the money back and actually raise double the amount because there were the investors who saw what we did and, and felt that you do have integrity for doing that. And I want to support you. And this is obviously a founder who, you know, isn't going to waver when it comes to tough decisions and tough conversations.